Legendary filmmaker Yash Chopra is no more. The film industry veteran who was hailed as the king of romance passed away at Mumbai's Leelawati Hospital on Sunday evening. Chopra was admitted to the hospital on the 13th of October after being diagnosed with dengue. He died of multiple organ failure at 5.30 last evening. The filmmaker's body was brought back to the Yashrat studios in Andheri last night by his son Aditya Chopra, Karan Johar and Shah Rukh Khan. Yash Chopra's mortal remains will be, were kept at Yashrat studio for people to pay their respects. The cremation is scheduled in an hour from now at Pawan Hans in Ville Parle. In a career that spanned almost five decades, Yash Chopra directed 22 films with super hits like Divar, Trishul, Changni, Silsila and Veer Zara. He had announced his retirement from film direction last month. His last film will be the upcoming romantic movie Jab Tak Hai Jaan with stars Shah Rukh Khan, Katrina Kaif and Anushka Sharma in the lead. It is set to release on the 13th of November. All right, let's now go across uh, to actor Raza Murad, who joins us uh, for more on uh, Yash Chopra and his brand of filmmaking, the void that uh, his demise has left in Bollywood. Uh, Mr. Murad, certainly a void there left in Bollywood by the passing away of Yash Chopra. But is there anybody at all who can uh, carry on his legacy, the king of romance legacy? Uh, he was... A doyen, he was not mere a filmmaker, but he was the backbone of our film industry. Uh, he was the strongest pillar. And uh, we know him as a romantic filmmaker. But if you go in the past, he made many films with, uh, you know, social problems like his very first film. Uh, then he made... Uh, Dharamputra, Dhul Ka Phool, and of course, uh, he experimented with Rajesh Khanna also. Uh, Rajesh Khanna was known as a singing romantic hero, but he made a film with Rajesh Khanna called Ittefaq. It was a songless film. And uh, then, of course, he made a multi starter film called Kala Pathar. It was based on the problems of uh, the coal miners. So he was not just uh, a romantic filmmaker. Mm -hmm. He had tried his hand uh, uh, with different kind of subjects, uh, different kind of films. But of course, his forte was always uh, the romance. Uh, nobody can deny that. Mm -hmm. And uh, I, you know, consider him as a painter. He used to paint the cellulite with his thoughts, with his poetry with his colorful locations, with his, you know, romantic characters. A very, very uh, imaginative, very, very innovative. Romance has always been, uh, you know, in his blood, which we could very well, you know, see uh, on the screen. So, I think in the history of uh, our Indian cinema, which is now uh, 100 year old, uh, I think uh, till date, he has been the most successful filmmaker, the most successful director, and of mm -hmm. course, a, 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 a person with, you know, very normal habits, uh, a down-to-earth approach. He was very humble, always smiling, and that, you know, you can feel when you meet, uh, you know, his family also. Absolutely, so, Mr. Murad. We'll uh, talk about the person that Yash Chopra was uh, with you in just a bit. But we're getting lots of callers who want to talk about Yash Chopra and the movies that he made, the magic that he created on screen. Sneha from Kolkata wants to share with us uh, her experience uh, of uh, watching Yash Chopra movies and growing up with them. Uh, Sneha, what do you have to say about uh, Yash Chopra, the kind of movies that he made? All right. Uh, in fact, uh, we will go back to Sneha when she calls us back. We seem to have lost that line. Let's go to Vinay now, who's calling us from Kethal. Vinay, share your experience of watching these romantic movies made by Yash Chopra, 
something that all of us have grown up on yeah first of all uh, i would like to express my grief over the sudden demise of uh, mr yash chopra that is a jolt for whole film industry and for whole nation and i will say whole worldwide to uh, which uh, yash chopra gave a vision through his film my favorite film as far as concerned is all the films that yash chopra has made are ultimate this is a very difficult task to choose from this film but uh, but i will say that uh, uh veer zara is my favorite movie because right. it showed that uh, how the two person across the border mm-hmm. have such a kind of love that the girl of pakistan comes in india and remain there for many years in the wait of the boy and uh, the boy from uh, india remains in the jail in pakistan for years and the both of them meet after such a long time so it is a very very beautiful painting of yash chopra Absolutely Vinay you absolutely la- right a very touching love story over there Veer Zara something that was loved by his audience uh, Lily from Hyderabad also wants to share which is her Yash Cho- Chopra favorite Lily go ahead The combination of this she with Shahrukh Khan is mind blowing hmm? together they created magic such clean family movies that you can watch again and again and as the other caller said my favorite movie is also Veer Zara and the music in his movies is pure heavenly music and he was so much down to earth and so humble you know? really miss you if he would make movies again like you absolutely he's left a void in bollywood uh, kalpesh uh, is calling us uh, from mumbai kalpesh share your thoughts with us my all right uh, kalpesh uh, can't seem to hear us at the moment in fact let me go back to mr raza murad because he was talking about the man that yash chopra was that very few of us would really know about uh, mr murad tell us a bit about what kind of a person was he if you are asking me something i'm sorry i'm unable to hear you so i won't be able to uh... all right all right so we'll try and reconnect uh, that uh, bit of problem that uh, we are facing with audio over there we are going across now to ramya chandar our correspondent who's getting us the latest from mumbai ramya when is yash chopra's last journey expected to start Ramya are you there with us Ramya when is uh, Yash Chopra's last journey expected to start Right well maha we can expect it any minute now from what we are gathering uh, they're planning to uh, the the last ride the procession is going to leave uh, from yashra studios any minute now let's say in about 5 or 10 minutes from there they will head over to pavan hans which is where the cremation the last rites will happen which is where the cremation will happen so uh, as you can see there's a lot of police bandobast here there are crowds that have gathered here just trying to figure out what is happening and so that they can get a last glimpse of the great legend that was yash chopra Ramya apart from the family members is anybody from bollywood expected to accompany the family for the last rites Right Maha well uh Mr Chopra's body will be in an ambulance followed following which will be a Volvo which will have quite a few people from the Yashraj films people close to Mr Chopra behind that uh Bollywood celebrities who ever wish to come until uh, till Pavan Hans who ever wish to join uh in the procession they will also be there but they will be traveling in their own vehicles so yes we can expect quite a few celebrities to come and from what we hear uh, Shahrukh Khan is expected to uh, definitely come with uh, come uh, uh, to Pavan Hans and as well as many other Bollywood celebrities Ramya who are the prominent people who paid their last respects to the legendary filmmaker today Right well Mahavan we're talking about someone as legendary as Yash Chopra hardly anyone uh, would want to miss 
the the opportunity to have one last look at this great man so right from Shah Rukh Khan to Salman Khan Rekha Mr Bachchan Jaba said the entire film fraternity was here they have been pouring into the Ashraf studios right from when Mr Chopra's body was brought in last night late last night so people from Bollywood have been pouring in they have been giving their last respects they've been giving their condolences uh, to his wife his sons and they have all been there in this time for the Chopra family Rami, how is this family expected to carry on the legacy of Yash Chopra? He was a man who spent more than 50 years in the film industry, bringing to us such great films uh, with uh, weaving magic really on the screens. Uh, how is Yash Raj Films going to take this forward? Well, when we're talking about a legacy that's 60 years old, it, uh, his films are enough to carry forward this kind of legacy. But yes, as for how the family is going to do it, we are yet to hear from them because right now they're focusing more on the sad part that uh, they're still uh, in grief, so they're still yet to respond to uh, such queries. But yeah, but the legacy, as I say, his films will carry forward his legacy. Ramya, also we saw people like Shah Rukh Khan uh, and many other Bollywood celebrities tweeting about uh, the void that's been left in Bollywood after the demise of Yash Chopra. Uh, take us through some of the sentiments that people in Bollywood are expressing at the moment. Well, Yash Chopra is a person who has touched the hearts of not one or two, but almost everyone in Bollywood. Right from films like Lamhe to Dil to Pagal Hai to the recently, the one that he was directing directing while he passed away, Jab Tak Hai John. He has worked with almost every actor, every great actor that Bollywood has ever seen. So when it's someone that great that, has, that passes away, everyone from Bollywood is terribly upset. And like you said, there's a huge, huge void. I mean, he was a, he was a director par excellence. There's a huge void left in, uh, in wake of his... Uh, his death. So then Bollywood is absolutely devastated. They're very sad and that is the general uh, thread that is going around all over Bollywood. All right, Ramya, do stay on with us. Uh, we have with us uh, Mr. Raza Murad uh, who is sharing his thoughts at this moment with uh, headlines today. Mr. Murad, uh, we wanted to ask you what kind of a person was Yash Chopra? We all know him as a legendary filmmaker, somebody who wove magic on celluloid. But what about the man behind that? He was a God-fearing man and he used to give uh, all the credit to the Almighty and he will always, uh, whenever uh, he was complimented for his excellent wor work, he used to always pull his lobe of the air and he used to say that ye sab to upar wale ki hai, hum to kuch bhi nahi hai. Uski mehrbani se ye sab kuch ho hai. So, uh, a very normal person, very down to the earth with, uh, you know, normal habits and that, you, you know, you can very well, uh, you know, judge it when you meet his uh, family members also. Uh, they are very, very uh, down to the earth, normal uh, people. And uh, I think uh, his simplicity in his personal life was, you know, really praiseworthy. Uh, he was never swollen headed. And he was never, you know, uh, he never got carried away by his success. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I have seen people when they get, you know, little success and how, you know, they change, uh, how they get swollen headed. And uh, this is an example for the newcomers also uh, to, uh, of course, they have watched uh, his films. Uh, I think uh, Yash Chopra forte has always been love. Uh, uh, he was an eternally romantic person, but apart from that, uh, you know, he made very different kind of uh, dramatic films, also like Divar, like Trishul. We cannot call these uh, films romantic. So whatever he made uh, films, it. Uh, he made those films with a lot of intensity and passion. Absolutely. So and he, that perhaps call... uh, is what distinguishes his movies from the others. Uh, the passion that he brought uh, to the screens, his own love for cinema was very much there to be seen on celluloid. Vishal from Delhi is also joining us to share his views and thoughts on Yash Chopra. Vishal, go ahead. Which is your favorite Yash Chopra movie?
um, for me, it's uh, been been valid to learn a thing, and that's that uh, my all-time favorite. Uh, I mean, I uh, personally have been a huge, huge big fan from Mr. Chopra, and I know it, it's it's uh, very really sad uh, that such a thing has happened, uh, and uh, uh, you know, I, I I see this person as uh, a guy, an icon, as a as a legend who has changed the face of uh, Bollywood. Uh, it's, it's been huge uh, loss. Personally, I feel that uh, I mean, there's some loss which uh, Bollywood might not be able to fulfill for a very, very long time. I mean, I, I also think uh, you know uh, that uh, who would be uh, the one who would take on the uh, legacy of Mr. Chota. Clearly, an icon gone over there, Vishal. Uh, many thanks for speaking with headlines today. Rubina from Kolkata is joining us. Uh, Rubina, what are your thoughts? Uh, well, I see in that uh, whenever he expresses himself on screen, it's uh, godly beauty. And my best film is Lamhe, and uh, I felt that he was so far-sighted, like he could think and feel and express. It was timeless for me, like everything: love, the detachment, the final union. Everything was. I think beautiful picture, poetry for me, and I will really miss him. Well, absolutely, and uh, most people who have uh, watched and grown up on his movies are going to miss Yash Chopra. The movies that the magic that he created on screen will be something that will be sorely missed. In fact, Yash Chopra's craft, his filmmaking, has become an institution in itself. The legendary filmmaker had another talent to make others around him even better. The likes of Amitabh Bachchan, Shah Rukh Khan, amongst many others, owe a large part of their grand success to this man. Yash Chopra was truly a man who had the ability to tell a story right. Many call Yash Chopra the king of romance. But bigger than that is the fact that Yashji, as he was fondly called, was the kingmaker in Bollywood. For he was largely responsible in shaping the careers of two of the biggest stars in Bollywood. The Shan Shah and the Baad Shah. Amitabh Bachchan and Shah Rukh Khan. His films with the two earned him cult status. It all began in 1975 with Diwar. Yash Chopra casted Amitabh in the mold of the angry young man in Bollywood. He followed this movie with yet another Trishul which also starred Bachchan in an angry role. And went on to be a huge hit. Chopra's next two outings with Amitabh Bachchan were romantic dramas, Kabi Kabi and Silsila. Both were not just box office hits, but eternal love stories. Silsila went on to be the yardstick by which the later romantic movie was judged. Then in 1993, Yash Chopra changed gears and directed newcomer Shah Rukh Khan along with Juhi Chawla and Sunny Diol in a musical that not a commercial blockbuster then but a cult classic now. It was the launch pad of the next superstar in Bollywood, Shah Rukh Khan. Chopra went on to direct two more romantic films, both starring Shah Rukh Khan. Dil To Pagal Hai came in 1997. Shah Rukh Khan was the brand new lover boy in Bollywood. Chopra followed this up with Beer Zara in 2004. Both these movies won the prolific director many accolades. Then. He took a sabbatical.
And early this year, Chopra returned to direct Sharuk in Jab Tak Hai Jaan. If Amitabh is Shahanshah and Sharukh is king, then Yash Chopra is definitely kingmaker. Entertainment Bureau headlines today. These are visuals that are just coming in from outside the Yash um, Raj studios and the um, mortal remains of Yash Chopra have just left the studio on their final journey. Um, this, of course, the entourage is... Uh, the beginning is an ambulance, then a Volvo bus, and then all the stars uh, are trooping out behind them. So a long procession, of course, from Yashraj uh, Studios right down to the crematorium. These are visuals that are coming to you live from Mumbai. Well, the who's who um, of Bollywood, their um, minister, politician and film star, everybody gathered at the Yash Chopra, uh, remember the, the, the place where, where Yashji's body was, was uh, laid out for uh, public viewing and uh, Shraddhanjali was the very flow that, that he spoke on um, just a few days ago at his 80th birthday. As you can see, visuals of the ambulance that are leaving Yash Chopra, um, are leaving the Yashraj studios with the mortal remains of Yash Chopra. This will go uh, from here to the crematorium where um, his earthly remains will be consigned to the flames by his son. So this, of course, is the end. Yes, the, the filmmaker, as, um, uh, just to recount, has been suffering from uh, dengue since last week. Um, he was declared critical towards the weekend and of course reached his last due to organ failure earlier yesterday. Now, um, everybody is was at Yashraj uh, Studios. They are now moving out, of course, for the final journey of the director, film producer, Yashraj, uh, Yash Chopra. These are visuals that are coming in to you from Mumbai. Um, and everybody who's anybody was at um, the Ashraj Studios, including Shah Rukh Khan, Karan Johar, um, Randhir Kapoor, Ranbir Kapoor, um, the Bollywood in full force. And as you can see, the bus now leaving. This is mostly uh, one well-wishers, two employees of uh, the company that is Yashraj Studios and the stars who'd like to travel in the bus. This, is, this of course, is the entourage, the final journey of Yash Chopra. Now we're going across to Mumbai. Uh, Lada is at the Yash Raj Studios. Lada, tell us what you have for us. This is the final journey and it has begun. Absolutely, Denzel. As you speak about exactly one minute back, the entire karma of uh, Yash Chopra's mortal remains, along with uh, Uday Chopra, Aditya Chopra, Shah Rukh Khan, Karan Johar, all the close friends and family members have left which is mortal remains. They are headed to Pavan Hans. They should reach in about half an hour from now where uh, uh, Mr. Yash Chopra's body will be cremated. Uh, you know, through through the day, right from 6 a.m. onwards, we have seen scores of celebrities pouring in literally right from Ashwarya to Rekha to Mrs. and Mr. Amitabh Bachchan, uh, Shah Rukh Khan, Karan Johar. Rani Mukherjee has been there throughout the night. In fact, a strong statement coming there from um, uh, the Chopra's and Rani Mukherjee uh, that she's very firmly very much part of the Chopra family in there. You know, she was receiving uh, the visitors who came to pay tribute to Mr. Yesterday. So, clearly, clearly, uh, you know, entire Bollywood, entire film industry in Mumbai in a state of mourning and in a state of shock. And uh, this has been one particular incident until wherein we have had everybody from the film industry come together, regardless of their own issues and animosities. Everybody came together. I in think as far as Yash Chopra is concerned, Lada. Uh, you know, that, that as far as yes, yes, Chopra was concerned, I don't think there were animosities and if they were, it was what they call professional rivalry, but certainly a man who's been loved by all as far as Bollywood is concerned. And yes, um, everybody uh, from Bollywood have come in to pay their last respects to the man. 
uh, Yash Chopra ji's body is being taken through the streets of Mumbai now uh, from Yashraj Studios uh, to the crematorium where the last rites will be performed. As you can see, these are live visuals coming to us from Mumbai. Uh, everybody is here in this very large and entourage. I think it's one of the largest that uh, Mumbai has seen in a long time um, because um, people uh, of the likes of Shah Rukh Khan and and Karan Johar, um, of course, went with the body. As you can see, visuals of the body being taken out of the Yashraj studios uh, towards the ambulance coming in now. Lada, so, so one of the, the largest gathering this morning that Bollywood has seen, a tribute to the man and his work? Absolutely, Denzel, because at the end of the day, this is a man who's actually been part of the active filmmaking for 56 years of his 80 year life. And uh, somebody who actually deeply impacted the careers of stars like uh, Amitabh Bachchan, Anil Kapoor, Rishi Kapoor, and of course, Shah Rukh Khan. Uh, you know, and, and not just that, Denzel, you know, I mean, he's, he's regarded as the king of romance, but he's somebody who's given us films like Vak, films like Trishul, films like Divar, Kabi Kabi, films that were all about social drama. He was the one who actually created the entire image of um, Amitabh Bachchan, the angry young man, along with Salim Javed. So clearly, one of the biggest contributions ever to the Indian film industry. And of course, he 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 rounded it all off with uh, you know India's premier studio, the Yes Art Studio, and uh, uh, you know left behind a legacy uh, that would be very very hard. Uh, uh, to be filled actually by anyone for that matter. Well, Thank certainly, you. but uh, a legacy ladder that that is as large as as Bollywood has ever seen, and and also I dare say an organised legacy. But um, give us a little feeling of the people who were there. I believe uh, um, you've been inside also to the Ashraj Studios this morning. Um, it's gloom, and I think that Bollywood quite literally has stopped today. Absolutely, Denzel. You know, I went inside to pay my last respects to Mr. Yash Chopra and, and the irony of it all, Denzel, let me add, was that in studio number four, where on 27th September, all of us from the media fraternity along with him celebrated his 80th birthday at this very same place. We were witnessing his mortal remains. His mortal remains were kept at that very place, you know. So uh, I couldn't help but notice the irony of the moment that, you know, the place where he sang the famous song from Vak from his one of his cult movies. And we had the Samla Sopra standing there next to his bottle remains and crying inconsolably. Uh, you know, we had Karan Johar and Rani Mukherjee standing with uh, Pam Aunty as she is all known in the Bollywood fraternity, consoling her. And we had Karan Johar, you know, literally in tears. We had Aditya Sopra and Uday Sopra in a state of deep shock. Uh, you know, so and then Shah Rukh Khan has never looked so haggard, you know, dare I say, and uh, he looks completely out of sync and uh, in, in a deep state of emotional shock. And uh, uh, here, you know, the entire sense of gloom, deep gloom, uh, you know, has set in um, at Wire Studios. Remember, you know, this was actually uh, uh, the place where they, you know, a night before uh, 27th September, I had visited the place when they were actually creating the entire set. And people from their marketing team, they told me, they said, you know, this is their way of giving a tribute on his 80th birthday. They wanted to make it completely memorable. Little did they know, little did even I know that this was going to be his last birthday too. And what a tribute, really, you know, at the end of the day, where he got a chance to speak about his life and times in a detailed fashion like never before. And uh, we had Saro Khan, the man actually who owes a great deal of his career to Virus Studios and to Yeshopra in particular, talking about uh, uh, this man's life and journey, Denzel. Well, certainly, and a life and journey, uh, a life certainly well lived, lived to the full. He did what he wanted to in the way that he knew best. And of course, he's given us some of the best movies um, that Bollywood has seen. Now, let me go across to uh, Raza Murad, who uh, joins us in the studio in Mumbai. Um, Raza, your, your take on Yash Raj. What is it that you would remember him most for? Um, that one moment or, or that one incident in your life? You know, when I was studying in... Uh... Uh, Film and Television Institute of India, that is FTII. Uh, uh, that was my final di diploma exam. And Mr. Yash Chopra came there as an examiner. And uh, he gave me the highest marks in a subject called scene. And uh, I got a pet on my back from him. And uh, the irony is that the last award which I received was from Mr. Yash Chopra 
that uh, uh, was on the function of uh, Federation of Western India City Employees. And he patted my back 42 years back and he gave me my last award, a trophy, a uh, memento, about uh, three or four months back. So he will always uh, remain uh, in my memories forever. I just wanted to tell one thing about Mr. Yash Chopra. Yes, sir, go ahead. God as God created... Uh, as God created Amitabh Bachchan to act in films, God created uh, Lata Mangeshkar to sing, God created uh, Sachin Tendulkar to play cricket. That's how, you know, the God created Yash Chopra. As his ambassador of love, he was sent to this planet to spread the message of love which he did, you know, uh, for more than 50 years. So I will very, call very, him very the true. That, of that, that's definitely the, the, the best way to sum it up. Uh, the ambassador of love and, and uh, uh, Raza Ji, you put it extremely well. Uh, let me now go across in our studio. Uh, joining us is Gautam Call. Um, Gautam Ji, uh, one, welcome to the show. And two, of course, as, as far as this journey is concerned, uh, a moment that we've seen quite frequently in the last, but this kind of sums up an era for us, doesn't it? Gautam ji, if you can hear me, um, basically we're, we're talking about the summing up of an era in, in Bollywood. Your thoughts on that today? Well, uh, <clears throat> we have lost one of the icons of the Indian film industry and sadly at a time when Indian cinema is celebrating 100 years. In fact, this year has been uh, fairly tragic for Indian cinema and uh, we all feel the great loss that uh, we now have to bear with and uh, I am particularly uh, very sad to know that this film director of ours who spanned his career for 53 years in filmmaking will now be missed so dearly because we always felt that his father's uh, fatherly image would uh, certainly be around the film studios and he would remain a guiding light. Well, certainly the fatherly image is what uh, we're talking about here. He was the icon. He was the man who actually was behind a lot of images, behind a lot of people, behind a lot of singers. Here, of course, are visuals coming to us from Mumbai. These are live visuals um, on one side, uh, the last journey of Yash Chopra from uh, the Yashraj studios where he lived, breathed and created his movies right down to the crematorium. So, well, a picture that of course uh, spells a totally different sight here. And as you can see, um, this of course are visuals of the crematorium, the stars entering and a moment which has actually stopped all of Bollywood. Um, and yes, all of Bollywood today in mourning for the director, the man, the producer, and of course the father-like figure, the icon that was Yash Chopra. And now I'm going... Okay, now let, let me go back to, to Raza Murad for a minute. Um, Sir, a lot has been said about how he was he was actually the force being behind and Amitabh Bachchan and Shah Rukh Khan, both uh, some of the biggest actors. Uh, but, uh, of course, uh, his, his power and, and the way he did his movies was much more than that. Your take on that, sir? You know, not only Shah Rukh Khan or uh, Amitabh Bachchan. I think till date, uh, the best performance of Anil Kapoor is in Mashal, from Mashal to be precise. So that is still date. Uh, I will, uh, you know, consider Anil Kapoor's uh, best performance till date. He always made his films from his heart instead of his mind. So that is the reason of becoming Yash Chopra. He was a romantic at heart. He was a poet at heart. And I would like to pay my last uh, tribute to him 
from uh, from a couplet of his own film uh, daag ke izzatein chahatein shohratein ulfatein koi bhi cheez duniya mein rehti nahi aaj main hu jahan kal koi aur tha ye bhi ek daur hai wo bhi ek daur tha aaj itni mohabbat na do dosto aaj itni mohabbat na do dosto ke mere kal ki khatir kuch na bache आज का प्यार थोड़ा बचा कर रखो मेरे कल के लिए आज का प्यार थोड़ा बचा कर रखो मेरे कल के लिए कल कल जो अनजान है कल जो वीरान है कल जो गुमनाम है कल जो सुनसान है मैं तो कुछ भी नहीं मैं तो कुछ भी नहीं एंड दैट्स व्हाट ही यूज टू से कि मैं तो कुछ भी नहीं आई एम नथिंग इट्स ऑल बाय द ग्रेस ऑफ गॉड विच आई हैव अचीव टिल डेट so he was a uh, not only just a very successful filmmaker a master craftsman i think the present generation should learn the craft of film making just by you know watching his films and uh, he is an institution he is an icon he is a doyan and uh, he will remain in our hearts in our memories forever the history of hindi cinema will be incomplete without a uh, mentioning of yash chopra already his name has been written in the golden words and those words are never going to be erased and uh, i salute uh, him from the bottom of my heart he made us laugh he made us cry he made us uh, you know sit on the edges of the uh, of our seats very very so, true um, a, a thought that of course leaves, yeah. leaves us almost teary eyed but definitely he's left us a legacy and here now let's um, these are visuals that are coming in from mumbai the crowded streets of mumbai of course got just a little more crowded as we see the uh, the entourage with the the, the mortal remains of yash chopra being taken from the ashraj studios right down to the crematorium um well the the final journey and um behind him are the stars of the stars amitabh bachchan sharukh khan karan johar um you name them um they are they are there with him on his final journey